Alright guys, so here we go. This is the device. Um, basically, this is a Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and we're going to show you how to use this utility today. It's pretty cool, very easy to use, um, so not, not a big deal. It does work on a couple different Kindle files and you see Kindle Fire units and you'll see that in the, in the video. Right now we're going to turn on um, Android debugging or ADB debugging. So it says right here enable ADB. Go ahead and check that. Also make sure obviously your USB plug is plugged into your device and into your computer. So make sure you've got that set up. Once we have that, we'll be able to do this. You can see I'm already running some custom operating software there, uh, but not really a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot over here to my computer and uh, show you the file. So this is what you're downloading right here. Kindle Fire um, First Aid, and this is a zip. Once you extract it, it's basically going to come up to um, this other file up here. I will give you guys links to all this uh, in XDA, so you'll have all the links and stuff you'll need in the video description down below. So once you've extracted it, you open the file, it looks like this. And all you really need to pay attention to is this right here, the runme.bat. So the rest of it, just leave, it's not a big deal, but go ahead and click on this and we'll open up the utility. So here it is. You got a little warning disclaimer, uh, not a big deal. Go ahead and push Y and uh, we'll uh, start the utility. So you can see there's a lot of options here that you can do. So first thing I think we're gonna try to do is, um, is do the drivers. But you can see right there you've got Kindle Fire second gen, Kindle Fire HD seven inch, and Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch. Um, some rooting stuff, some backups, some extras, some drivers, some diagnostics, and of course getting a recovery system set up on your device with Twerp Recovery. Uh, so not bad. So we're going to go ahead and go into drivers, which is going to be option 7, and hit enter. And go ahead and do the preferred method number 1, and go ahead and hit continue. Basically, it just talks about it, this. This the way these scripts work is, is really nice. They actually just walk you through everything. It's very, very easily spelled out with some kind of box pop up like this, and it just walks you right through it. So um, basically, go ahead and just hit enter or any key really on your keyboard, and we'll go to do the uh, driver install here. So it says, "Would you like to do this?" Go ahead and push yes to get your ADB and fastboot drivers installed. Again, it has a lot of questions. Yes, install them. Go ahead and hit Y again, and they will install correctly now. All right, well, mine are already installed, so it popped up and says you're already installed, so I'm just going to hit, uh, do you want to continue? I'm going to say no, but you guys would normally say yes here and let them continue. Press any key to continue. It says they're installed correctly. So not a big deal. Like I said, read through all these so you understand what's going on, but they're just really self-explanatory. So here you go, the tool just restarted. Go ahead Y again to the warning and you're back into the device. So from here, um, we're gonna go ahead and go to device diagnostics right there, which is safe, which is one. And then we're going to do the first one, which is uh, ready to test ADB. And we're gonna run through this tool Go ahead and say yes here. And this is just going to test your ADB drivers to make sure that everything is functioning correctly. And it looks like it is. So press any key to continue. And you're back out of that. And we're going to go into it again. So diagnostics again here is one. And we're going to test, um, we're going to reboot the device that we're going to do. We're going to go reboot Kindle Fire right here. Yep. Reboot Kindle Fire into fast boot mode. So go ahead and hit uh, two. And what we're going to do here is make sure our fast boot mode drivers are installed correctly. So any key to continue, if I can hit the right button here. There we go. Say yes to this one. Again, like I said, there's lots of yes and no questions in this. Just be ready for that. It's not really a big deal. Um, and there we go. It's going to go ahead and reboot the device. You see the device turned off. And push it. There you go. It's in fast boot and you can push any key on the utility to continue. You can see this. 
right there, which is uh, pretty pretty cool that it's in fast boot. And go ahead and just yep, just hit that right there, and you have gone back in. So now that we're here, we can go ahead and hit the option to test those fast boot drivers. There we go, and hit yes again, and you can see it says a number and fast boot. That means your drivers are functioning correctly, so hit continue. Uh, and that's what you want to see. Again, reboots the system. Go back in one last time, and we're going to go to where it says reboot, uh, Kindle Fire fast boot mode. So we want to reboot out of fast boot. And go ahead and say yes, and key to continue. And you can see the Kindle Fire is now booting out of fast boot mode and booting up normally. You can see right here it is in blue and white. That's because I have a bootloader already installed on this with Torque Recover and all that. That's why that looks blue and white there on the Kindle Fire. Don't pay attention to it. So here you go. We're back into the tool because it rebooted. And now once this thing fully reboots, we're going to go ahead and do the restore is what we're going to do. So you're actually going to uh, pick option three. Let's let this thing finish uh, booting up here. So here's option three. Um, we're going to pick the top one, which is completely restore Kindle Fire 7 inch uh, to 7.2.3. Um, one thing I want to point out to you guys is you need to have plenty of battery life on this because it does take quite a bit of time while you're doing the restore. And if this thing dies on you, you're going to have an issue. Um, you're actually going to need to buy, if it does die on you while you're doing a restore, you're going to end up having to buy a factory adapter to allow you to flash this thing with a dead battery. So, you don't want to go down that road. Well, here we go. We're going to start it up here. Push any key to continue here. And this is going to do that restore. Hopefully everything goes smoothly with the restore now that we have our drivers installed correctly. So, press any key to continue. There we go. Again, he asks you again, do you want to do this? Say yes. Again, tells you about it. Press any key to continue. Again, hit yes. Like I said, this is just checks and balances. The guy who wrote the script really put a lot of questioning into it. Um, yeah, we're going to use it to boot into fast boot mode again. So we'll use the script to do that. Um, if your device isn't running at all, you can boot into fast boot mode with a cable, um, factory cable like I was talking about, or a factory cable adapter. So again, just keep hitting yes and you'll get this thing running here in a second there we go so this is uh, ADB stuff starting up there and there it is should be rebooting into fast boot mode which it is so is the Kindle Fire in fast boot mode again we'll hit yes so Y and enter and what's gonna happen here is it's gonna go online and um, it's gonna try to download three different files to your Kindle it does take a long time to do this. Um, right now, it downloaded the boot image. It downloaded the recovery image um, right there. And the last image it's going to download is the system image. System image download is going to take 10 minutes. You can see I just skipped through it, but it takes a long time, so be very patient for it. Um, now that you've got everything downloaded, we can go ahead and press any key to continue. If you want to see right there, I have that little adapter, factory cable adapter sitting there next to my tablet. Uh, if you guys need to pick one up, you can get it from Team Black Hat. So, um, here we go. We are running. Everything's starting to flash. It's doing recovery. It's doing a boot image. And it's writing system. So this is tricky right here. System takes, again, another five minutes to write. So I'm going to do a time jump here. And we should be finishing up system here in, in, in just a second here. It shouldn't take too long and you'll be moving right along but just realize that I'm doing some time jumps in here for the download and for the system flash they're big files so it does take a lot of time for them to flash there we go now we're writing system um, writing system shouldn't take nearly as long as the other one you can see system took um, 311 seconds to fl to to uh, send and writing should be about maybe like I don't know 30 30 to 90 seconds, something like that. It shouldn't be too terribly long to write system. Okay, so there you go. System is written. And it asks if you want to wipe data and wipe and cache. So you do want to do this if you're doing a restore. It will factory reset your device, completely wipe off everything on it. 
So we're gonna hit yes and go ahead and watch it uh, erase user data. Again, this process takes a little bit here, um, not too long, but just realize that doing this is going to just wipe out um, pretty much everything you have on your device and bring it totally back to stock, um, stock system. Or I should say stock Amazon OS maybe is the better way of saying that. All right, so there you go. Wiping user data did take, um, I don't know, about a minute or two to wipe user data. It's now um, doing the cache partition and wiping it out. And this one should be faster, maybe like 30 seconds or so. It shouldn't be too bad. All right, there it is. Everything's done. You can see the Kindle Fire is starting to reboot. And you can understand why it's so important there. I just hit continue and, and yes here to, to finish out of that script. But you can see why it's so important for long battery life. The whole process here between the downloading and the flashing probably took 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. So you definitely want to have good battery life. Here we're back in the utility. Um, you can see all the options. There are a lot more options here than just here. You have the root um, and unroot. I'm not really going to go over, but it's there. You have backups um, that you guys can do um, backups with the utility. It'll back it up to your computer, which is quite nice that that is there as well. Um, like I said, just walk through it step by step. It'll walk you through all this stuff. Then you have extras. Um, let me show you that. Here's extras. Extras is fully loaded as well, and it does all kinds of goodies with from installing launchers to disabling OTA updates and all that right there. Just just a, a whole bunch of goodies on there which is very nice. You can see over here the Kindle Fire has gone ahead and started up and you have to go through the initial setup process uh, like you would normally. So I'm going to leave that. We'll get back to it. But again, this is the tool. Very nice tool. Um, and it has all these other features you guys can use in it as long as as well as installing Torp Recovery and, and all that kind of stuff on your device. Um, big props to the guy who did this. This tool is very very in-depth and very very nice so Kindle Fire first aid tool excellent work um, absolutely love it great great use well hope you guys like this video um, Kindle Fire and all that good stuff and we'll catch you later root junkie out